So today we're going to watch or re-watch my professional debut, which was in February 2017, which is quite a while ago now. Um, as you see with the, with the stats there, 19 zero 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 record so yeah i was fighting uh fighting a tough guy and adam gustav 26 2 and 0 at the time um i think he trains here in belfast um tough guy um known known to be a hard hitter at the time so it was uh it was an interesting one i took this fight on i would say i, I think it was about two weeks notice uh i wasn't intending turning professional i actually in fact, I wanted to do the World Championships at Amateur, so that was my goal for the year. Um, I hadn't fought that year, it was February, so my goal for that year basically was to fight as much as I possibly could at Amateur. I was already the champion of, of, a, of Clan Wars, and I wanted then to go at the end of the year to the World Championships in Vegas and win them, so that was what my goal was as an amateur. Um, and this opportunity then presented itself this fight was in the SSE Arena in Belfast, so I think it was the first show. Yeah, it was the first show that Bama had came and done here, done here in Ireland and in Belfast, and it was the first big show to be back in a while. So my coach just said to me at the time, "Look, Paul, there's been a pullout here at your weight in two weeks." My teammate James McLean was also fighting that night, so we were both preparing. And he says, "Do you want to take it?" And the fact that he even asked me that, my co my coach back then, Davy, the fact that he asked me that should told me that he knew I was ready because he would not say that to me uh, if he didn't think I was ready. So yeah, 19, um, February 2017. So we're gonna give it a watch here. And I haven't watched this one in a while, so it'll be it'll be funny to watch back. I'm just laughing at my wee baby face there. So I am, um, so let's, let's get going. Featherweight, still fighting a featherweight. It's got quite a bit smaller back then. <laughs> So I still get the absolute piss taken out of me today for how this ring announcer <laughs> announced me. <laughs> I'll play it here. Four pounds, making his professional debut oh. this evening from Castle Gorson, London, Derry, Northern Ireland, Paul Hughes. Oh, stop. Castle Dorson. Castle Dorson, London, Derry. Literally, like I still get people saying that to me. Like people are saying, <laughs> are they gonna announce that for the world title? Uh, I don't know where he got Castle Dawson from or Castle Dawson, as he would say. I'm a La I'm from Lavi. Like I don't, I would never have read down Castle Dawson. <laughs> so I have no idea, absolutely no idea why he said that. Um, the London Derry Northern Ireland thing, I don't give a flying fuck about like whatever but castle dorson like he didn't even get lobby right like do you know what i mean so that <laughs> i remember just being in the cage and you can see i'm like clapping my hand and like doing a wee twirl and like saying hello to the whole crowd but in my mind i'm just like what the fuck is this <laughs> this guy just said <laughs> i'm just thinking about all the all my friends and family coming to watch and they're just be like what the hell is going on here oh i actually forgot about that that's so funny Imagine they came out with that in my world title fight, like that would be gas. Confidence. Look at the confidence in me, what the fuck, like 19. Switch on the south pass straight away, start fainting. Playing with the lead hand. See that we switch? That's how I, that's how I set up the flying knee, as you'll see. I'm fixing the hair. I'm, I'm like parrying his jab and throwing a check hook at like the same time just as he's coming forward so I'm basically just like in front of him fitting like trying to get reactions out of him this is just all like all of Donner McNally's work I think Donner might have been in my corner, corner that day as well boom and then boom and that's the start of it I put that back and then shit goes mad <laughs> I actually dropped him with the left hook after the knee. It wasn't the knee, the knee didn't connect. Now this is, a lot of people think it was the knee that KO'd him, it actually wasn't. I think the knee, the knee maybe grazed him, but it was the left hook after I threw the knee. So I faked the leg kick, scissored through, and as I scissored through, then my left hook came over the top. So I'll play it again here. See the left after? So that's what puts him on his knee. 
and as soon as he comes down in the knee then you can see my facial expression there it's like <laughs> but when i seen him drop with a knee I, obviously i knew it was hurt so i just smelt blood like like anytime I, I get a sniff of it then i just i go for the kill so it's the beginning of the end so this is, in my opinion the best shot of the fight is after i'm stalking him back here i'm stalking stalking i throw a backhand left hook to the body this is after I've dropped him, like the composure that I had at, at, for this fight was just ridiculous. What do you see here? Track him down, bang, drop him to the left hook. There's a the first overhand, second overhand, third overhand. These knees are all landing, all of them on the skull. Fourth overhand, fifth overhand, sixth, done. Mad. Mad. So young. So, so young. Jesus Christ. Just by chance I jumped on the side of the cage where all my mates were sitting. I didn't know where they, where they were at. And I remember them all just going mad. I remember seeing Johnny especially, one of my best mates. I remember him just seeing him just going absolutely nuts. And I was just like, holy shit. That was ah, oh, that was a really special night. Like that was a special night. <laughs> Jump <in the> cage. <laughs> so much, man. This has been years of hard work. I am 19 years old, people. 19 years old. I'm the future. <laughs> boss, I still get the best taken out of it out of me about this as well about saying I am only 19 years old I am only 19 <laughs> Don McNally literally says this to me still every week <laughs> and I'd also like to say happy birthday to my dad it's his birthday today so wherever he's at happy birthday to him <laughs> that was a good moment there the fact that I remembered that it was his birthday after all the adrenaline was nice I remember my, my mates were telling, they were all sitting beside my family and they said that he just lit up. My dad was just like on cloud nine, which is like just an amazing thing to, just an unreal thing to be able to do that. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, that was, that was fucking nuts. That gives me confidence, mate, watching that. Like, not that I need any more confidence, but like people think, people think I'm successful or, I'm, or that I'm doing well because or that's the reason that i'm confident but the reason that i'm doing well is because i was confident i mean like let's go back to the fucking let's go back to the start what do you see when it cuts off look at look at the confidence in my face here like i remember i remember being in the warm-up room for this and like usually in the warm-up room you've got your jitters and like you're shitting yourself a bit but i remember whenever I was brought out to the part just before you walk out. So you have your walk out area, you're just behind the big screens and the big TVs. I remember just being there and looking out, seeing the cage, like seeing my opponent down like, like 50 meters away or whatever. And I remember just being totally in the zone, like totally like, not even like hyping myself up, like, oh, like you're gonna go smash him. I remember just being there, I was taking it in. And I remember just this feeling, just this feeling of like no doubt. It was just like, get in there and get it done like you're the man paul like you're the fucking man like you've you put in years and years of hard work for this which i like i i i've been fighting since i was 15 and i took it very serious from that age like obviously things are a lot different now it's it's like it's a well-oiled machine now but back then like i did i did take it serious and I, and I trained my absolute ass off like that's why i was fighting professional when i was 19 so i remember that sort of it was almost a moment of clarity of just like like, you're the man. Uh, that was actually, <laughs> that was really weird watching that back. I haven't watched the full thing, like the interview, the in-between. I haven't watched that in a long time, so that was, that was a funny one to watch back, so yeah.